This is a press release just released by the Environmental Working Group and the Red Cross. It says in here, in the United States alone, there are over 100,000 toxic chemicals released into the air, food, water, and soil, leading to toxicity in your immune system, your endocrine system, your nervous system, and your reproductive system. Now, here's where it gets really, really interesting and really, really depressing. They took umbilical cord blood from newborn babies from United States hospitals. They actually took, after the umbilical cord was cut, they took samples of it, and they look for what's in this umbilical cord blood. In, in, what's in this umbilical cord? Of course, there should be blood in there, because that's why the mommy feeds the baby during pregnancy. But guess what they found in this umbilical cord blood from U.S. hospitals, random hospitals? They found, collected by the Red Cross after the cord was cut, they found pesticides, consumer household products that we always mention to you, Consumer household products like what? You've heard me talk about it a zillion times, like Teflon, like flame retardants, Scotchgard, Stainmaster, Gore-Tex, household cleaners. They found waste from burning coal, from gasoline, and from garbage. Guess how many toxins they found in umbilical cord of 10 newborn babies? Two. 187 chemicals detected in the umbilical cord blood of newborn babies in U.S. hospitals. 287 chemicals, and then they broke them down into categories. 180 cause cancer in humans. Over 215 are toxic to the brain and nervous system. Over 208 cause birth defects or abnormal development in animal testing. So in your newborn, absolutely beautiful, God-given baby, you've got 287 chemicals, toxic chemicals from the environment. Isn't that unbelievable? 180 that cause cancer, 217 to, that are toxic to the brain and nervous system, 208 that cause birth defects or abnormal development. It's startling, right? Red Cross is doing a great job here discovering this. The question is always, how do we prevent this? I mean, you're, we're living in an environment of over 100,000 toxic chemicals in the air, in the food, and so it's unavoidable. There's no place you can go that you're not going to get this. You can eat organically all you want. You're still breathing the same dirty air. You're still drinking pretty much the same dirty water. And you're still having organic foods grow in this horribly depleted soil. Well, next week, you're going to find out as we do an entire whole week on detoxification. Phase one, phase two, and something you don't hear much about. Phase three, the systemic elimination. There are certain kinds of baths you should be taking, literally. There are certain kind of scrubbing you should be doing to your skin. It sounds ridiculous, right? And a little science fiction -y, you have to scrub your skin. But phase three detoxification, the systemic elimination of these toxins is crucial and never gets talked about. We talk about phase one all the time, and we're going to review that. We talk about phase two and how those two are so important. And yes, indeed, they are. I'm not belittling them. But what about getting the crap out of your body? What about getting all of these toxins, all of these uh, 287 chemicals, 180 that cause cancer, over 200 that are toxic to your brain and nervous system, and another 200 that cause birth defects? How are you going to get yourself to eliminate those in your stool, in your urine, in your breath, through your perspiration? That's what we're going to concentrate big time on that uh, next week. So really, and really important press release from the Red Cross. We're going to go over this again and talk about it a lot. Hey, and, you know, and we spoke about it last week. We started talking about the fact that uh, uh, chemicals in your environment create, listen to these headlines, which we've not even given you yet. I get so angry when I start reading these because th nothing is done about them. Listen to these two headlines. I promise we'll get to them this week. Chemicals in rugs, cookware are linked to raised cholesterol levels. Cholesterol levels in teenagers. Fillings, sealants may leach plastic into your kid's mouth. It's unreal. It's unbelievable. It's constant. We're going to keep talking about it until you're sick of hearing it. Maybe then you'll start taking care of yourself. So darn important.